This is part six of my series of videos showing off my romance novel collection. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Regency novels that Fawcett books published between around 1974 to the early 1990s. And some of the first ones that they published were by Sylvia Thorpe. I don't have her first one there, The Reluctant Adventuress, but these are two others. And these now, these ones say a Georgian romance on them instead of a, a Regency romance. Usually they would say that right in the thing there. And it says a romantic comedy, some of her other books. This one was actually copyright 1952, but as you can see it was published there in July 1975. Let's see what the Scarlet Domino publication information is. 1970, first printing 1975. And here's another Sylvia Thorpe. I had said in a, a previous video, the Gothic uh, romance video that I did, uh, that Marion Gibbs uh, also did Regency as well. I made a mistake. They're actually, they say, a Victorian romance and a Georgian romance. And we have two books here by Joan Mellows. And these are all from the late 1970s. Uh, Maggie McKeever. And a few more here by different authors. And we have two books here by Rebecca Danton, who actually, it turns out, is a pen name for Janet Louise Roberts, a.k.a. Jeanette Radcliffe. I think she probably used a pen name because she was, you know, writing for other publishers uh, under her real name. Now these have two similar-looking uh, plots the, by different authors. The, the, the slender young high woman waving a gun at the Duke's elegant coach, did not dream, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the highwayman was, in truth, a ravishing beauty named Rosalind. And with this one here, the slender young highwayman who held up Lord Raven's coach was shocked to discover he had made a terrible mistake. The wounded highwayman turned out to be a beautiful young woman, Lady Tara. And so we have here two books by Norma Lee Clark. And then a book here, Clarissa, this has an interesting cover, shows the man looking through the window. Now in 1979, Fawcett started a numbered series, Coventry Romances. This is book number eight, that's book number 13. Um, and these came out, I believe, every month, sort of like Harlequin romances, but they're all Regencies. Sometimes you'll see them reprinted, uh, like this book here, Lady Bliss. I've actually seen this reprinted later in the 1980s not as a Coventry romance, but just as part of their regular uh, Regency romance series. So sometimes you got to be careful that it's like you don't already have the book. And here are two more by Maggie McKeever, tw book number 27, book number 55. And we'll just keep going through here. Um, I'm going to show you some more Elizabeth Chater uh, books later in this video. And she, these are from the around 1980, 81, 82, and, but they continue publishing Regencies into the 1990s. There's more Coventry. Now this is book number 194 from 1982, and this one is from September 1982, and you'll notice they no longer have the number on them. So this was near the end uh, when they decided, you know, we're not going to do Coventry romance anymore. And I'll show you what they replaced it with. But uh, this is interesting. It says Jasmine Creswell and Robert Hale. Robert Hale was actually the publisher. First published in Great Britain, 1981. Uh, Robert Hale Limited. You'll notice also it says published by Ballantine Books. I believe it was at this point that Ballantine Books actually purchased Fawcett Books. So 1983, This you can see the, the cover change. This is like a uh, uh, seven, or late 70s. Rochelle Edwards, uh, Regency Fawcett published, but then they went to, in the 1980s, starting, I believe, in 1983, they started doing this type uh, format. You'll see another one here, uh, Claudette Williams, uh, 1970s Claudette Williams uh, Regency by Fawcett, but then they started looking like this, which would give off more room for the um, artwork 
which was nice. Lady Barbara, Lady Madcap. You'll see a pattern here because there's Lady Runway, Lady Sunshine. And these two writers are actually the same writer, Barbara Hazard, and then uh, under her pen name, Lillian Lincoln. And I mentioned Elizabeth Chater before. Here's two books by her. And this one sort of gives an example of the style of these books. The way they're written is very fun. Let's see if I can get that in here. For the speaker of those self-dooming lines was that notable, notorious rake hill, that top of the trees Corinthian, that out-and-outer, Philip, Lord Sandra, and Baron Sandrival and Estes, a wily buck who had avoided the parson's mousetrap so adroitly for ten years that even the most determined of matchmaking mamas had long relinquished hope of snaring him, while the more conservative parents never permitted their ewe lambs to be caught in his dangerous vicinity. That gives you an ex ex example of the style of writing, which I find very charming. I mean, that was all one sentence. Um, here's two more Elizabeth Chaters. And we have some more here. Now these, like I said, were all from the 1980s, early 90s. And here's some more. Now some of these writers I don't know much about. Apparently neither does anyone else, because like this book by Catherine Flixton is actually copyright 1970. This edition came out in 1990. But when you turn to the auth about the author section, about the author, Karen Flixton lives in London. That's all it says. And she only wrote one other book here that it says also by Catherine Flixton. So who knows? Uh, here's a book by Rebecca Ward. Now, Marion Chesney wrote a ton of Regencies. And, and she had written them for uh, Del Candlelight books under a pen name called Jenny Tremaine. This is the sixth volume of the Six Sisters. And then Fawcett started publishing a bunch of her uh, books. And we have some more here. She wrote a, a ton of them. And here's another. By this point, I think this is probably early 90s or so, not probably 94 or thereabouts. Yeah, April 1994. Now, she also wrote for St. Martin's Press. And some of these were reprints. I think she also wrote for Jove Books. This is the School of Manners, book one. And some of them, some of the St. Martin's books, I believe, were uh, published by, reprinted by Fawcett. Now, Signet is another publisher that published a lot of Regencies in the 1980s. And these are two Mary and Chesney books by Foss, I mean by Signet. Now this book is one of the few that I've actually read all the way through. Um, and this is by Margaret Somerville, who also wrote a bunch of uh, Regency novels. And I enjoyed it. Um, the funny thing is, is these kind of books you can, at the time that you're reading them, you really enjoy them and you go, wow, this was really good. I really had a good time. And then later, you might think about it and go, um, you know, what was the plot again? <laughs> but they're fun. Uh, and that's the thing. Here's two books by Charlotte Louise Dolan. And I'm going to show you some other books here. Uh, Warner Books also published a bunch of Regencies. And some of them have numbers on them. Carolyn Courtney. I think the first versions of her uh, book, when they first came out, they didn't weren't part of a numbered series. But later, Warner Books decided to put numbers on some of these ones. And they also have Warner, your, Warner paper, uh, your Warner Library of Regency Romance. And this is book number 25. And these came out, I think, late 70s. Or actually, early 80s, 1981. And here are two books by Carla Dunn that were published by Warner Books. And I'm not sure what else I'm going to show here. Maybe some Barbara Cartland, who is also a very popular writer. She wrote for uh, a bunch of different publishers. Um, this is by Pyramid Books. And this is Bantam Books. There was the Bantam 
uh, Barbara Cartland Library. This is book number 143. And then in the 1980s, Jove Books was re uh, had a series of her A New Camfield Novel of Love, and this is book number 76. This is the only Barbara Cartland book I've read. It's very short, but again, I really uh, enjoyed it. It was, very, it was fun. So anyway, that's all I'm going to show for my Regency novel collection here today. I started just to show the faucets, but I decided to go and show some others as well. I'll uh, have uh, future videos showing more of my uh, romance novel collection shortly. Thanks for watching.